us. And motherhood is a, it's an amazing and great blessing. It's an amazing and great joy, and it's an opportunity. And we, within the church, need to be setting this example to a world that has come to despise it. We need to be set apart and different. So many times when you read the Old Testament, we're struck by how God made it a point to set his people apart from everyone else in every way. From the way in which they dressed, to the way in which they ate, to the way in which they worked, to the way in which they worshipped. His people always look different than the culture surrounding them. It's a priority of God's design in his redemptive plan. We need to, as a church, be setting this example well of faithfulness, of faith in God to a world that has come to despise it. Motherhood is an amazing blessing. Think about the way our world views this. It's a limitation to the life they want. You know, through this corona season that we've been in, I was reading recently some articles on how parents are responding to children not being in school, how parents are responding to children not being able to be going to camps, how parents are responding to them not going in to work and having those long periods of separation that at times are necessary but are unavoidably absent in this time. And what I'm seeing is secular articles being written with titles, something along the lines of parents gear up for six more months of hell as summer camps are canceled in their state. And I think, how do we get so far off? How did we come to a place where motherhood, fatherhood, parenting as seen as hell when it is necessary upon those whom it has been given as a blessing to accomplish it? I see this and it's terrifying for the shape of our society. Mothers make men by which nations are led and shaped. And we are in a scary, scary place with those realities. Listen, when we look at our culture today, that in every single state in our nation, that motherhood is a problem that can be taken care of through abortion. We have gone backwards. And God has given the church the role of being his display to the world. We are those who through his redeeming work of being born again are new creations that we will not look like, act like, walk like the society that is in opposition to him around us. That we would set that example, oftentimes, yes, at great sacrifice and cost. We need to understand how backwards culture has viewed motherhood before we allow it to inform us in any way.